A number of farmers in the Free State have been left destitute after raging fires destroyed thousands of hectares of farmland. An estimated 900,000 rands worth of livestock has been lost on the fire. I want to update you on the story as I take you uh, live to the Free State. Senior reporter Avi Wemtila, uh, good afternoon to you. I hope that you are with us. When we last spoke to you, there was concern over flare-ups. The wind was starting to pick up where you were reporting from. We were also waiting for a briefing from the Agriculture MEC. Indeed, uh, teams are being dispatched as we speak, Jeremy, as two flare-ups have been reported. Uh, although the entire impact uh, hasn't been assessed yet, we do understand that um, some 50,000 hectares have been burnt already. Um, that includes livestock that have been burnt, game, um, as well as some vegetation. But just to get more clarity on this is the MEC of Agriculture and the acting premier in the Free State. Uh, so thank you for joining us at ENC8. But is this a state of disaster? We are not going to declare it now until our teams, which are working with the disaster, uh, finalize the report to be accurate on what damage has been caused and then how many uh, hectares, how many livestock have been affected. I'm told that also the game farm is also involved in that. And then once we have all the reports, we'll sit down and analyze it and then write the report to the COGTA because the COGTA is the one that can declare a disaster. But for now, there's a damage that we are acknowledging. And then the team that has also briefed us have told us that we must be patient. Ten to ten, five to ten days, they will give us the complete report, and that will take to the executive. But in the meantime, we'll interact with the farmers directly including the farmer who has been through uh, during the process, will interact with the farmers and try to understand and all the estimates until we get the correct figure that will say that this is the real damage and then we'll work on it. But we'll also appeal to other farmers to also assist these ones that have, we are going to do it as government, but we're also asking the farmers to do and help those who have been affected by this badly. So here we need a partnership between government and the farming community to help one another. So, but we are going to help, and then we are going to make sure that we get our report, and then the, if need be in terms of the report that we are going to get, it to be declared that a uh, disaster is going to happen. Now, we've heard that this is the biggest fire uh, this year so far, um, livestock being burned, vegetation being burned, uh, on top of the COVID-19 pandemic that um, we're grappling with at this stage. What are the interventions that will be in place from government side? I think it's a triple challenge. As you correctly indicated that we are dealing with this uh, pandemic and then our focus was on how to ensure that everybody is safe and then this came as an other additional burden in, to the resources that we have, but we are left with no option but to help where we can so that life should be normal and then the farmers should be able to produce whatever they were producing. If they were having livestock, they should continue that. So there's a lot that is going to be needed, including the feed to feed animals because the, the, the land has burned. So those are the challenges that are there. I've just talked to the management team, uh, the disaster management team, to say how best, because the fear is that it's still going to come between Saturday and Friday. But we are happy that the national is going to send the chopper that uh, distinguished fire. It, it will come and other additional manpower will come to fight this. And then we are also going to send whatever we have, even if we have to get it from other regions, to come and help this side because the danger is in this side. Certainly the danger is this side, and we heard that this flare-up could continue um, even for a number more days. What are the plans in place then just from government uh, to help with the livestock, moving the livestock, and just the safety of people around here? That's what we are going to work with the, with the disaster. That's why there's a center for disaster to look into that, to look into the asset, how can we save the asset, human beings, the cattle and everything, and try other means. Help the government and the national department will be sending a helicopter at this side to come and help that distinguished fire so that this fire is controlled. Until it's controlled, we are not going to say that this is finished. It's windy, it can run again, 
is still there outside, but what we need to do is to, how do we do, what do we do to control it so that it, it doesn't spread more. I think that's where we are now. Thank you very much. The MEC of Agriculture in the Free State, um, as well as the acting premier, as two teams have been de uh, dispatched as we speak because of the flare-ups. We understand the fire has been contained at the moment, but the wind is picking up and there are fears of the flare-ups that have already been reported. Well, that is evident behind you. Thank you very much indeed.